I alluded to love languages, uh, so I thought it might be fun to kind of go through these. The idea behind the love languages is that everyone has needs in a relationship, and a relationship will succeed or fail depending on the degree to which those needs are fulfilled. So the five love languages are acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, quality time, and gift giving. So you take the test on fivelovelanguages.com, and you, and then it kind of ranks what are your greatest needs in a relationship. Acts of service is just you know uh, if you prioritize um, your partner doing kind things for you, like doing your laundry or giving you a massage. Words of affirmation is if someone you know if you like when someone tells you like I love you or gives you a compliment. Physical touch is physical touch. Quality time you enjoy spending time with the person. And gift giving is your materialist. Um, so it's kind of embarrassing if, if that is you. So do, number one, do you believe in the love languages? Uh, and then do you want to share your ranking with our listeners? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do. I think um, this goes back to compatibility as well. I think the largest thing about the love language is, um, I mean, is identifying who your significant other is based on that. I think the biggest incompatibility is if somebody, you know, if they don't have the same love language listed low in their rankings. Like say for example, if somebody has gift giving as their lowest, but then the other person has it as their third or second even. Mm. I mean, the first, I think that's extremely incompatible. That person whatever. sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Uh, I, I think that's like the biggest. I mean, you can kind of use these love languages to guide incompatibility. I mean, it's at a very high level, but uh, I think they are helpful in determining. You know, okay, if I don't care about gifts, I don't understand why you care about gifts, and you know, you love gifts then it's not going to work. I think that's, it's just, it's going to be bleed incompatibility. Um, I guess my personal rankings, actually, let's take a look. First one would be quality time. Um, I'm a person who, you know, I really want to spend time with you. I'm not, you know, overbearing, but, uh, you know, just being able to have good memories with people and is the most important thing to me in a relationship. Um, the second one I would say is acts of service. I think that just shows that you, you care and respect that person if you're willing to do something for them. Um, my third would be uh, physical touch. I think that's important in, in a relationship for, for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, the fourth would be words of affirmation. I think, again, that goes back to respect. And if you couldn't allude to this earlier, uh, gift giving is, is the lowest on mine. I, I'm, I'm not only horrible at, at coming up and providing gifts, I just, to me, it, it comes off as a little bit materialistic. I'm sure um, I, I see why certain people, you know, see, oh, it's, you, you value me, you know, you're willing to, you know, part with something and, and give it to me and that shows that you, that you truly care about me. But uh, for me, it, it, it doesn't do it. it it's, I, you could buy me, you know, a house. I'd, I'd probably, you know, care about you after. <laughs> no, I, 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 I agree with you. I think, I think we're on the same page in the importance of love languages. Like you said, I mean, if, if someone has quality time as their most important love language, you know, it's important that the, their partner knows that because then you can, you know, spend a whole day with them as opposed to if they have, you know, uh, gift giving, like you said, maybe they appreciate something, you know, a thoughtful uh, gesture. So for me, and by the way, just so you know, the love languages change. They could change. Just like if you take the Myers-Briggs personality test, it could okay. change. Generally, you know, it's not going to fluctuate that much. But if you take it when you're 16, you take it when you're 26, it might be a little different. Um, so for me, my most important is a tie the last time I took it between quality time, like Ian said, really important, and words of affirmation. Uh, I, I enjoy getting compliments and I mean you knew that. Like having yeah, yeah, having that kind thing said about me that's that always like makes me happy. If I have like a close friend, if someone like says like once in a while, like, hey man, like I, I value you. That's really important to me. Um and then the other three are like man, acts of service I agree with you. It's cool if someone like cooks for me, like for example, that's a great act of service. Yeah, yeah, uh or you know, does something kind, and then physical touch. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a dude. Like, I'm a person. Like, obviously, <laughs> obviously, like, I, I, physical touch is important. Um, probably, like, yeah, words of f and quality time are like up high. Uh, acts of service is like acts of service and physical touch. There's like a gap, and then gift giving is way at the bottom. I'm like, I'm like you. I, you know, I, I don't even like. My sisters can tell you. My family can tell you. I don't like getting gifts. I like giving gifts more than receiving gifts. Right, right. Um, so. Yeah, I think, you know, if you're in a relationship or you're dating someone, I know it sounds silly, but take the quiz. Just see if you're on the same page. Loves of la love languages are becoming more canon. I feel like when I, uh, Holly, you know, my sister showed them to me a long time ago, like 10 years ago, and no one knew what it was. 
But now, I don't even think I told you about it. I think you heard of it from someone else. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely, I mean, you can probably go on, like, BuzzFeed probably has a version of it. Like, it's, like, a popular internet thing, you know? I think the same with the uh, Myers-Briggs test as well. Mm. You know, 10 years ago, that wasn't as as big of a, uh, or as widely, you know, spread of a, a test. But I feel like now everybody knows it. You know, you just go up to somebody randomly and you get to What's ask them. What's your love language? Yeah, exactly. What's your love language? What's your, your Myers-Briggs uh, classification? It's like, it's becoming part of our culture to, to, to find these. Absolutely. And fun fact, I, I haven't shared too many dating horror stories with you, but I actually had a girl break up with me because I made her take the love languages quiz. I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you who, although, y- you know, you might... Uh, Essentially, um, we talked about language. English wasn't her first language, and we were hanging out, and I just pinned her down. I was like, I need to know your love languages now. And she was like, what? This is weird. So I made her take the test, um, and it, it didn't work out. Which uh, love language did she have? Uh, I don't think she completed it, but I think it was like the worst ones. It was like physical touch and <laughs> gift giving. And Ian has a girlfriend, guys. Um, I want to, uh, unfortunately, he's off the market, ladies. Uh, I don't know if, Mar- if, if your girlfriend has taken the love languages quiz but i'm curious if, if, if hers are the same as yeah, yours yeah she has actually um i think the largest one that she had was acts of service uh okay. followed by quality time um and then after that i forget i want to say it was words of affirmation physical touch and then gift giving was the lowest on hers as well i'm always shocked when someone takes it and it's like gift giving because they give you a number it's like 10 10 is the highest one's lowest i'm always shocked because i've definitely seen people's like gift giving 10 and everything else is like a two like what 